Hello, I'm Duke Davis. Some of you know me as Mr. Rott, the district manager for Sodexo, your food service operator here at Liberty University. The outbreak of COVID-19 has created many challenges in our daily lives and has forced us to do things very differently in order to stay safe and help flatten the curve. As you prepare to return back to Liberty or preparing to attend here for the first time, we'd like to provide you with some useful information regarding the changes we're making in our operations to protect the safety of our students, faculty, and staff. For new policies such as social distancing and dining operations, new food safety protocols, and contact service cleaning, we're working hard to provide you with ease of mind regarding dining services on campus. Since March, our dining team has been steadily working to create and refine these policies as we continue to monitor the updates from the CDC, federal, and state governments. And we're confident that we have a great plan moving forward for this upcoming school year. You're gonna hear from different members of my team who will be explaining to you some of the changes that you will encounter upon your return. Hi, I am Nori Yamashita and I am your general manager. My team and I have been hard at work these past few weeks, establishing new safety protocols for on-campus dining. We are monitoring updates from Virginia Health Services and the local health department daily as we plan for this fall. And more changes may come depending on new guidelines. However, as Duke said, we are confident about the changes we have implemented for our operations moving forward. From new policies such as to-go service around campus to implementation of social distancing in our locations by working with campus security, to taking the temperature of our employees before they start work, our sole focus is helping to prevent the spread of coronavirus while providing dining services to you. Hi, my name is Jeannie Griffiths, and I'm the Director of Operations for the Food Court at Reber Thomas. Throughout the dining hall, you will see a number of changes when you return. For starters, we're helping ensure social distancing by marking off and spreading tables out. While we normally love seeing large community tables, during this time, we encourage students to keep a safe distance and not to set in excessively large groups. In addition, all silverware will be distributed to you. If you need any additional utensils, please just request more. All stations, drink machines, and condiment bars, counters, and tables will be cleaned continually throughout the day with antivirus solution. Additional hand sanitizing stations will be set up once you enter the dining hall, and we encourage all students to utilize them. Our final change for Reaver Thomas will be that we are introducing takeout boxes. For those who choose to grab a takeout container, we encourage you to take your food and to dine at locations such as your dorm or other community spaces on campus. That way we can continue to limit the amount of students inside and to maintain a safe environment. Hi guys, my name is Sarah Falls and I'm the district chef for Sodexo at Liberty University. As you've heard throughout this video, we have many changes coming to campus and I'm so excited to share some of the changes that my culinary team and I have put together for you. For starters, in our dining hall, you will see that all self-service stations will now be switched to being operated by an attendant, and as always, our attendants will be wearing gloves to serve. If you'd like additional food, we certainly encourage you to just ask the attendant, and they will be glad to serve you more. All locations will have pre-plated food, or the food will be inside plastic or eco-friendly containers with lids. And we're doing this mainly to help the lines move more quickly and to keep food safe in an open space such as the dining hall. Some stations in our dining hall will be moved as well, such as soups. You are used to getting those at the salad bar, but they will now be served at the Bistro Deli, which is in the back of Reber Thomas. Additional communications will come regarding which stations have changed, but we always encourage you to look at the menu screens in the dining hall or please check out Reber Thomas menu online on our website. Hi everyone, my name is Ebi Zahabi and I'm your retail operations manager for dining services. The retail team and I have worked diligently to create new safety protocols for our on-campus restaurants. You can expect new policies such as daily checking of our employees' temperatures, masks and gloves on all employees, cross-contact training, and enhanced hand-washing standards. In addition, team members will be cleaning contact surfaces such as counters, kiosk screens, and drink machines regularly throughout the day. For students, every location will have extra sanitizer stations set up. Microband strips will be added to handles or cooler doors. Plexiglass will be installed at all cashier stands and pickup areas, and additional grab-and-go options will be available at select locations. 
Finally, self-service stations will be eliminated or will be operated by an attendant. And we will be introducing new technology for contact-free transactions. So please stay tuned for additional information regarding that later this summer. Hi, my name is Rachel Sanders and I'm your campus dietitian. Even though some of our operations are changing in response to COVID-19, our strong commitment to ensuring food safety for those with food allergies and dietary needs remains the same. In Reber, we will still uphold the same standards at Simple Servings to prevent cross-contact while also introducing new serving and cleaning standards to prevent the spread of germs. The once self-service gluten-free breads and spreads, waffles and desserts will now be individually wrapped or served to you. The locations of gluten-free bread items will likely be different in the upcoming school year, so please look for a sign to help guide you as to where they are or ask a staff member. In retail locations across campus, we will still offer our Geo Meal Swipe. We are planning to add more variety to this program this summer, and those updates will be communicated on our website. Again, we understand that having a food allergy or intolerance is stressful, and we want to do everything we can to make sure you are getting adequate food choices while you are here at Liberty University. Hello, my name is Ryan Wheeler, and I'm the marketing manager for Liberty Dining Services. While things will seem very different in the fall from our usual programming, such as events in the dining hall, our fun outdoor activities on the lawn, my team is still intently focused on staying connected with you, our student body. We know many of you will have questions or concerns, and we are dedicated to addressing any question you may have regarding some of the changes we're implementing and the why behind them. To pair with all these changes coming to campus, I'd like to officially announce our partnership with Grubhub. With Grubhub, you can order ahead for your favorite items from on-campus restaurants with your meal plan and then go and pick them up. We believe this partnership is important as we move to keep lines down for the sake of social distancing. While we have limited locations set up on the app as of right now, we do have plans to roll out even more on-campus restaurants within the school year. In addition, I'd like to remind you that campus menus and nutritionals can always be found on our website at any time, and menus for locations such as Reber Thomas can also be found on the Liberty Today app. To stay in touch with our team, please follow us on social media at Liberty Dining or visit our website, libertydining.com, for any and all updates. We're very excited for the return of our students for the fall semester and hope this overview has helped answer some of your questions and concerns. We're making big changes, but they're necessary changes in order to keep you safe.